Hello everyone, my name is Alex. This is an episode of a course, How to Learn Java Within 50 Days. Link to the full playlist is in the description below. In this episode specifically, I'm going to cover basic variables. Now, what exactly is a variable? A variable is something that you can use in order to store a value. For example, let's say I want to want to store the value, the number seven, seven like this or seven, uh, for later usage. Uh, I, I and I maybe want to change it later on in the program. I maybe want to have uh, a lot of print statements. I want to print some stuff out. And then I want it to be increased or decreased, and I want different things to happen. Then we definitely need variables. That's that's bas the basic use of a variable. And uh, there are different types of variables that can store different kinds of numbers. There is the integer and the double, which I'm going to cover today. There is the short, long, and float, which is a bit different. It's pretty much the same as the uh, integer, the int and double, the integer and the double, but but um, they are. So, so they are not really as important as of now. In order to create a variable that you can use, uh, either if we want to create an integer, we type in int, and for the double, it's double. And in Eclipse, it will actually highlight different variable variable names. So for example, the int highlights in a reddish color, same with the devil, long, float, and all, all of these things. And with those values, you can, as I said before, increase them, you can decrease them, you can divide them into things, and it's, a lot, it's basically a lot of fun. Now, when you create, create an integer, you want to type in int, stands for integer, blank space, and then you want to name it. So I'm going to name mine, mine farm animals like this. Now, a thing in Java and other programming languages, thing for programming, um, you normally want to name it, uh, of, of course I've named it farm animals, but it doesn't look right to my eyes. So I'm going to change, go ahead and change this uh, lowercase a to an uppercase a. So it's going to look like this, farm animals. So you can actually see the words, and uh, it might get kind of it's kind of important when you when you go through large codes uh, when and when you look through variables uh, that they are good good named they are named after their usage, and that uh, the they they have the uppercases on new words. Then you want to assign it to a value. Now we're going to say assign a sane. <laughs> We're going to insane. We're go. We're going to assign this variable to the value of seven, and then we are going to print it out. So yes, you can print them out just like we did before with the system out of print lines or, or prints, uh, printfs, etc. <clears throat> and uh, now we don't want to type the citation signs because this indicates a string. This is a quickly created string that can be created anywhere. We're going to come to that eventually when we get in, into strings and how they work. I want to remove those. So everything we want to want to do in here is type in farm animals. And when I run the program, and I'm actually saving with Control and Control S, uh, when I when I run <laughs> run chicken, when I run the chicken, for some reason, I get the value of seven. The output is seven. It says seven. It tells me seven. And uh, so that's the integer. And instead of, if you don't want to assign it here, you can actually remove this assigning and it will work just fine. But you will get an error here saying that you haven't initialized the variable. Uh, so I am going to initialize it down here and type in farm animals. And I'm going to set the value just like that farm animals. You don't need the integer because the object is already created. Cr created and Java already knows it is an integer. So we can just hit go down to a new row and we can type farm animals equals to seven. And our program is gonna work run just like before. It does take up more space though unless you need to do this for some 
for some reason, which you do need to do sometimes when you create games. All right, so that, that was the integer. Now we can do the same thing with a double. I'm just going to be lazy, and I'm going to change this int to a double. Double, double. And I'm going to set the value this time to 5.3. So this is a number number that, that has two decimals, or it's basically a point number, comma number, uh, whatever you're going to call it. And I give it the value of 5.3. You can't do this with an integer, because then it will just go down to 5. It will just um, remove some from it to get it to be an even number. Uh, so, well, even. <laughs> uh, but this one, for this one, it has to be another decimal. So it can't be like just air, fresh air there. It has to be something. It has to be a dot. And if we print it out now, we'll of course get a 5.3. So now you might be wondering, what would happen if I remove this 3? And I would just go with 5, because that that's not going to work, Alex. It's probably, probably what you're saying, telling yourself right now. But you know, it is actually going to work, because Java is changing it to dot zero after it, if you don't type in a value uh, that you want there. So that's the double and the integer. Now just one last thing before I end this tutorial. I just want to show you one math op operation that we're also going to do in the last tutorial so I can show you the potential of having variables in your programs. Let's change this back to an integer and let's keep the value of 5. Right now, it will just say 5. In order to increase or decrease the, the value, you do farm animals plus plus or farm animals minus minus. And the plus plus will of course give us 6. And then we can do farm animals minus minus, and it will take it back to five again. There are also other things such as uh, the time symbol, and you don't have to do it this way. This is just an easy way of either increasing it with one or decreasing it with one. So that's that's all for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you again next time.